When will computers show true intelligence? Sooner than you think. The question is, why don't we already have AGI? Two issues hold us back. We haven't had enough computational power, and we haven't known what software to write to mimic the brain. Let's look at each of these issues. AI experts have come up with differing estimates of the computational power of the human brain and predictions of exponentially increasing computational power of CPUs. The lines eventually cross at the singularity, coined by Ray Kurzweil, with CPUs exceeding brains in terms of brute force computation in 10 years, 20 years, or half a century, depending on the underlying assumptions. But perhaps this is the wrong question. We all know that lightning-fast searches on a properly indexed database can produce results a million or a billion-fold faster than the brute force approach. In a fraction of a second, Google can search billions or trillions of times more information than your brain can store. What portion of AGI will be amenable to this type of software efficiency? We don't know yet. Boston Dynamics robots already exhibit the fluid motion and coordination which we humans get from our cerebellum's 56 billion neurons, 65% of our brain's computational capacity. And robots accomplish this with a few CPUs. Not because the CPUs exceed the computational power of the 56 billion neurons, but because designers of robotic software know about physics, forces, and feedback, and can write software more efficiently than the trial and error learning approach used by your brain. The nut of the argument is that brains aren't very efficient computational devices. They get the job done, but there are better and faster ways to approach AGI software which developers can use. We may already have computers with enough power for AGI, we just don't know it yet. Which brings us to the second question. What software to write? Most people look at the limitations of today's AI systems as evidence that AGI is a long way off. I beg to differ. AI has most of AGI's needed pieces already in play. They just don't work together very well yet. While the Jeopardy playing Watson is an amazing achievement, it is unrealistic to expect that it would ever manifest understanding or common sense at a human level. For example, you understand coffee because you've seen it, poured it, spilled it, scalded yourself with it, and on and on. Watson has only read about coffee. You and Watson could not have equivalent understanding of coffee or anything else because Watson hasn't had an equivalent real-world experience. For true understanding, Watson scale abilities need to be married to sensory and interactive robotic systems in order for common sense to emerge. We'll need to incorporate object and knowledge representations, pattern recognition, goal-oriented learning, and other aspects of AI in order to achieve AGI. I'll explain a path to AGI in another video. These pieces already exist in various forms, and AGI might all come together in as little as 10 years, much sooner than you think. For more on this timely topic, read my new book, Will Computers Revolt? Preparing for the Future of Artificial Intelligence. Available now at Amazon and book retailers worldwide in paperback, hardcover, and ebook editions.